What's up guys? So today's video is a get to know me. Uh, I am on uh, what is it, women's health mag, something like that, dot com. Links down below anyway. Uh, they have 200 questions in total and they've separated these into um, categories. Um, and so this one is going to be uh, the likes section, which is the first one on the list. If you want to click the link, uh, if you're on a computer, open it up in a, another tab, uh, and then you can sort of read the questions along and answer them. Um, so I will be trying to answer all 40 of them in this section, and um, to that end, I'm going to only give myself 30 seconds to try and keep the uh, time down on this video. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so question one is, what's your favourite way to spend a weekend? Um, a Friday night would be going out to do something like a movie or bowling or something like that with a larger group of people. The uh, Saturday, a smaller group of people, but a much larger thing like hiking or rock climbing or something like that, going swimming. Uh, and then the Sunday would be um, just sort of a solo, like, wind down sort of thing um, to prepare myself for the rest of the week. Uh, number two, what type of music are you into? Um, I generally sort of hover around uh, um, punk rock and alternative and like that sort of genre, um, but I do dabble in a whole bunch of things, uh, everything from like uh, hip hop and heavy metal to uh, there are some pop artists that I'm warming up to uh, and countries starting to have a little bit of a uh, good favour. Uh, number three, what was the best vacation you ever took and why? This one's a toss-up between a family vacation to the Gold Coast where we went to SeaWorld, uh, Wet n Wild and Movie World and the time that I went up to Brisbane to see Against the Current in concert. Um, both in Queensland, both in Uh Number four, what's the uh, next place on your travel bucket list and why? I'm going to talk internationally here uh, because I've been in basically all the places I want to, um, like domestically, but internationally I would love to go to LA particularly. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons why for that. Um, chief among them being it's where movies are made, and I'm a film buff. Um, number five, what are your hobbies and how did you get into them? Uh, a lot of my hobbies are things like writing and reading and film and stuff. Um, um, I have, on occasion, bought the odd how to draw book because I can't draw, um, but I find that those sorts of like uh, artistic endeavours are always really fun and I got into them because we moved around a whole bunch when I was a kid. Um, and so I just sort of learned to entertain myself. Um, that's why I have those hobbies. Number six, what was your favourite age growing up? This is an odd question and I honestly don't know how to answer it. Um, I mean they all had positives, they all had negatives. Like I said, I moved around a whole bunch as a kid. So I was perpetually the new kid at school, so therefore we're getting picked on. I didn't really have a favourite age growing up. Um, what's the last thing you read in digital or in print? That question was digital, but this book is in print, and it is the, it is the last thing that I read. Um, would you say you're more of an extrovert or an introvert? I am, in fact, an ambivert. Bit of both there. Um, number nine. What's your favourite ice cream topping? If we're being completely honest, uh, it's God. I haven't been to a cold rock in so long. I can't, can't remember what my order would be. Um, but it would be something from cold rock, which means that it would really depend on what flavour of ice cream I'm getting. Because there are some things that you just you just don't mix with certain flavours of ice cream. Um, however, we're talking just 
plain old vanilla, then um, chalk mint uh, ice magic, the topping that goes hard, um, and sprinkles are always a classic. Um, so, yeah. Number 10, what was the last show you binge watched? I actually am up to season 4, episode 10 of The 100, and I binge watched five, six episodes last night. Uh, it was great. We're getting right to the good end of the season and there's only one season left. I'm not mad about it though. I've got so much to catch up on. Uh, number 11. Um, are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? Um, I mean, I'm not opposed to a, a good podcast. Um, I... I I don't know. Um, most of the podcasts that I would listen to, the people that make them also release them as videos on YouTube. Um, and so I prefer to consume them that way. Um, and it's sort of the same thing as like with audiobooks. I'd rather have just read the book myself. Um, I don't know. I think in that one. Uh, would probably be mainly just listen to music. Uh, number 12. Do you have a favourite holiday? Why or why not? Uh, I do in fact have a favourite holiday. Um, my favourite holiday is, for a multitude of reasons, Halloween. Um, one of the reasons is uh, Universal Monsters. It's always a great time to revisit the classic Dracula, Frankenstein, uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Um, if you're going right back, you've got The Man Who Laughs, The Phantom of the Opera, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, and that's going right back into like the 30s. It's so like real old movies. Um, um, dressing up. Um, it's one of the only times of the year that I'll actually party and it also happens to coincide with Samhain which is uh, the new year in the uh, Celtic Wheel of the Year so uh, it's sort of a new year celebration as well as well as a time to sort of uh, honour the dead as well so every holiday is definitely Halloween uh, What's your death row meal? As a hypothetical situation I'm giving this counter hypothetical situation and ignoring the fact that they would normally just bring it to you on a plate and that's it, there you go. Um, so my death row meal would be going to Sizzler's, ordering a plate of cheese toast just for me, and then buy, and, and also paying for at, um, the salad bar. Because if you can't make some bomb ass nachos from that salad bar, what are you doing there? Um, Number 14, do you like going to the movies or prefer watching at home? Movies are movies. Um, you get a better experience going to an opening night, particularly at the cinema. Um, but at home, if you're watching it by yourself, you don't have to listen to anyone talking during the movie. They've both got pros, they've both got cons. Uh, number 15, what's your favourite sleeping position on my side? I don't know, do... Is, is the starfish and the fetal position actually names of, of sleeping positions? I sleep on my side. Um, number 16, what's your go-to guilty pleasure? Um, TV snacks. Oh, we, we, we used to have a sweet tooth. We're trying to that because that's not a nice habit to have. Um, so at the moment it's um, salty snacks and obviously that's also not that great for us so we're trying to we're working on it but TV snacks. Uh, in the summer would you rather sleep with the window open or blast the AC? This really sort of depends on how blistering hot it is during the night because uh, if you're having like a 40 degree day and you've already been blasting the AC keeping the windows closed to keep that cool area is going to be an idea 
and then just have the fan going to circulate the air so it doesn't just sit and get hot again. Um, but if your night's going to drop off to be in a nice comfortable 20 something, like low 20 something, then yeah, pop that window open and again, put the fan on to circulate the air. Uh, either way, the fan is on. Uh, number 18, what's your favourite quote from the TV show, movie or book? Um, damn, I mean there's a lot of good quotes in movies, um, there's a lot of good quotes in books. I honestly cannot think of a particular one at this point in time, there's so many good ones. How old were you when you had your first celebrity crush, and who was it? Um, crap, when did Ava Levine release Let Go? Because I was that old and it was her. Um, yeah. That would probably be first celebrity crush. And, I mean, it continues to this day. Uh, in 2013, I pre-ordered her. Her, um, her album um, so if you also pre-ordered that album and have the poster my name is like above her shoulder somewhere um, what's one thing that can instantly make your day better not having to have my day improved um, if I'm already having a good day then everyone's having a good day you know what I mean um, but if, if you're like set out to make my day crap, then I will justly return the favour. Um, but yeah, no, what can make my day better? Helping someone else. Making someone else's day better makes my day better. Um, 21, do you have any pet peeves? Is, is yes an accepted end here? Can I just say yes and move on? Because that'd be great. Um, yeah. Um, I can't think of any at the moment. Um, I would know them if I was confronted with them though. Um, I tend not to uh, dwell on the negatives. Uh, but when something comes along and it keeps me off, I will let you know. Um, which is your favourite meal? Breakfast, lunch or dinner? Okay. I had a debate with my sister about this a couple of days ago as to when was breakfast time. And likewise, therefore, when is lunch time and when is dinner time? Because they are not set hours on a clock. It's not like you get to, you know... 6.30 and all of a sudden it's dinner time, right, like that's, a, that's not how clocks work, um, it's also not how people work, people really should just be eating when you're hungry, um, so for me breakfast will be whatever I eat first thing in the day, so if that's at lunch time, it's then up to you to decide if that's my breakfast or my lunch. Um, and then likewise, um, some of my family members get really busy when they're at work uh, and so therefore aren't eating their second meal of the day, their lunch, until 4.30 in the afternoon. So when, when are we specifying here? Um, number 23, um, what song always gets you out on the dance floor? Excellent question. I listen to so many songs. Turn by the Wombats. Um, I mean, a lot of the Wombats hits, like, like they're really popular songs, uh, would probably get me out of the dance floor real easy. But Turn's the one that I listened to the most recently, so it's the one I'm going to answer with. Um, 
when you were a kid, did you eat the crusts on your sandwich or not? What age are we specifying here as being a kid? Because um, these days, there's like, you've got infants, then toddlers, then there's tweens and teens, and like, these kids, the ages between being a tween and a toddler? Because that's, to me, five years old to seven years old. I'm like, is that the age we're talking about? And then in which case, you find me a six-year-old that's willingly going to eat the crusts on their, on their sandwich. Um, that is how I'm answering that question. Number 25, what activity instantly calms you down? Uh, physical exercise, particularly like, uh, like but particularly um, like going for a jog. Uh, and I'm going to say jog because my brain has this weird thing where it hears run and instantly just inserts the word sprint. Um, and sprinting does, does not calm me down. Jogging and having to sort of uh, bring my mind back inside my body instead of dealing with all the outside like drama or whatever it is that's, uh, that riles me up. Um, that is uh, the activity that calms me down instantly. Uh, ideally, how would you spend your birthday? With like the four or five really good friends that I have and we'd all See the, the actual activity that we do would really sort of depend on. Uh, I don't know. Um, we'd all go to like movie world, and afterwards we'd then go and watch a movie. Um, it'd probably be a very heavily uh, oriented towards the arts kind of um, affair. Um, 27, what do you do on your commute to or from work? Uh, well, my work at the moment is uh, studying, and I do that at my computer. So I, um, I walk. What I mean, that's how I get there. What do I do? Um, well, on my way to loading the page in order to write up assignments and stuff, uh, Quick check of Facebook and my socials, um, particularly if I've got a notification. Um, that's what I do on my commute to work. I check my, my notifications and my emails and stuff. Do you have a favourite type of exercise? Yes, I do. And again, it's jogging because uh, that is the activity that instantly counts me down. Um, it's also uh, an excellent time to uh, listen to music so I'm, I'm still you know, able to uh, entertain myself as well um, I can meditate during it um, depending on where I go I'm able to then take um, really good photos um, yeah um, I'm, I'm not a huge like go to the gym type person. Um, I, 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 I do try and do those workouts uh, as often as I can to an extent. Um, but yeah, my favorite type of exercise, cardio, I think that's what the play is. 29, what's your favorite season and why? Now I'm going to only be able to, to answer this uh, according to the Southern Hemisphere. So in that case, spring, because that's where Halloween is. Um, it's also when my birthday is. It's not too hot, not too cold. Uh, the weather's usually really nice and it's not raining. Summer likes to rain a lot and winter's just cold and overcast. Uh, spring is usually clear skies and nice weather um, 
and so it's got that nice little balance of of temperature and weather and whatnot that I'm able to go out and do all of the things that I enjoy doing no matter what they are. Um, what's the best joke you've ever heard? Um, I mean, there is one that whenever someone is around me is like, oh, you tell us a joke. There is one that I sort of revert to, um, but not wanting to get demonetized too much on this video and wanting to keep this video as short as possible, I will not be telling it here today. Um, number 31, what's the phone app you use the most? Um, probably iMovie, which I'm currently using to make this video. Um, close seconds, excuse me, close seconds would be um, all my social medias, so like uh, YouTube, uh, as well as YouTube Studio, uh, Canva, which I use to make my thumbnails, um, and then obviously uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, um, I wish I could say my Tumblr, but I honestly don't use it that much, um, and that's a real shame, because that's where I post my stories. Um, I really, I really want to get back into doing that. Um, yeah, be, be those ones. Um, would you rather cook or order in? I would rather cook and have a greater control over not only the flavor and the, uh, like, like of the meal, but it, it also means I can uh, dictate how uh, well done my meat is cooked. Um, I have a greater control over the actual ingredients used because um, you order in and you never, you can never 100% know for certain um, that, you know, that it is made the way you would make it. Um, and I mean, it's likely not. Um, at the same time as well, um, if you've got allergies, um, it's just, I think it's easier to just cook yourself, um, instead of having to, to either specifically pick things that don't involve your particular allergen, um, whether that's shellfish or peanuts or what have you, um, yeah, I would prefer to cook in uh, myself. Have you ever disliked something and then changed your mind? Um, I mean, as I mentioned before, country music is starting to starting to um, I'm starting to warm up to it. I used to, and I mean, there is still a particular side of country music that I just don't go near. Um, Uh, horror movies. Um, I have such an active imagination that my mind likes to latch onto things um, and try and create a story around that idea. In the horror films, my mind just latches onto some dark shit. Um, and then if I'm wanting to go uh, for a walk, because all of the paths around here are bush tracks, and then real paranoid after watching a horror movie, um, or if I try to go to sleep, I dead set will have nightmares, um, yeah, but I'm warming up to both of those things, so I'm going to say yes to those ones. Um, what's your favourite board game? Oh, I'm glad you'd asked me this question, Cluedo, hands down, um, I... I love Pluto, um, I mean, I know it's also used as a meme, but Monopoly is a close second, um, I don't know how, but I always seem to end up with, um, Mayfair, um, there's, very occasionally I'll end up with just Park Lane and not Mayfair, um, but I can usually pretty consistently somehow manage to get Mayfair before anyone else can. 
because obviously you get Mayfair, you then try to get Parkland so that you can build the most expensive hotels. Uh, and somehow I always end up with Mayfair, so uh, Monopoly is a close second, but definitely Cluedo. Uh, and I I like to play as Professor Plum, and I'm actually in the process of trying to create a steampunk Professor Plum cosplay. Uh, I think that that'd be really cool. Um, 35. How do you take your coffee? Um, when I'm having coffee, uh, black, it's usually an iced long black, uh, with a pump or two of caramel in it. That's, a, that's at least the way I get it from, uh, from McDonald's. Um, I don't usually, like I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Uh, I, I, I tend to sort of stick more towards um, hot chocolates and teas. Uh, but when I'm having coffee, it's usually a nice long black with caramel in it. Uh, what's your most prized possession and why? Damn, that is an excellent question. What is my most prized possession? Um, I have no bloody idea. Um, uh, actually, no. My uh, In Our Bones CD. Because I pre ordered it as well and it came signed. Yeah, that's my most prized uh, possession. Um, and it was also. That, that album was also the album that I saw uh, in concert when I went to see Against the Current, which was also my first concert uh, because I, up until that point, was a largely uncultured swine. Um, is there any product that I couldn't live without? Um, and when, you put it, when you put the word product in there, the first thing that comes to mind is like, within a beauty product, but I'm assuming that just mean like a tech product or whatever. Um, is there one I couldn't use with out? Not really. Because I mean like when I go visiting friends, I don't have my um, Actually, you know what? Yes. And it would probably be my phone, but not because, like, I'm always messaging people. Um, I'm, I'm not always messaging people. In fact, I'm rarely messaging people. Um, but it would probably be my phone purely because um, I like to be able to uh, look things up and verify facts and stuff if I hear something that's like, mm, I don't believe that. Uh, I like to be able to get the actual facts, um, and then sort of, uh, if I'm bored and just waiting for someone, I'm able to, uh, to just sort of look up random things for story ideas and that sort of thing, um, so, probably be my phone I could use that. Do I sleep at the top sheet? Why, why not? Uh, I, I don't. Uh, in the summer, it's a lot easier to just kick off a blanket rather than having to find a sheet that's been tucked down the sides. Uh, and in winter, if I'm cold, I would put more blankets on. Um, I don't like I don't like top sheets. Um, I'm not going to judge someone for for having a top sheet if that's how you sleep comfortably, then that's good for you but it's not for me. Um, if you could have any exotic animal as a pet, which would it be? An exotic animal as a pet. Um, I don't know how much if this would be exotic, but it's definitely a pet that I would love to have. I'd love to have a falcon. I'd love to have falconing, or hawking, or whatever it is they call it. I think that'd be really cool. Um, if I could hand raise a uh, a grey wolf from a puppy. Um, I think that'd be sick as well. Um, yeah. Exotic animal. 
and that's probably as, as exotic as I'd go. Um, yeah. Um, and the last question, would you rather spend a day at the beach or by, by the pool? Um, now, look, I get that the idea here is that either way you get into the swimming, but um, for one of them, you've got sand and the other one you've got concrete. I would much rather fall onto sand if I was running than I would onto concrete. Um, but at the same time, do I like walking away from the water and not having my feet get covered in sand? Yes. Um, the beach, though, I think would be where I'd rather uh, spend my day. Um, I, I think that I'm a, a decent uh, body surfer. Um, and it is for that reason that I would prefer the ocean. Um, yeah. The beach. Um, but anyway, that was question 40, so we are done here. Uh, this video did go a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I was definitely a bit longer with some of those answers that I wanted to be. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, if you are new here and want to see... Um, no, stop. Let's start again. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you are new here and would like to be notified when I upload new videos. There we go. That's how you say that here. Um, again, the link to these questions is down below. Um, and until next time, guys, keep your head screwed on.